Hi folks, in one of my other videos I talked about the new concealed carry law in New Jersey. It was just signed on December 22nd by Governor Murphy. It has an absurd amount of restrictions for people uh, wanting to carry firearms legally in the state of New Jersey. And I mentioned this lawsuit, federal lawsuit. There are a few I've been told, but this is a good one. It's a main one that I want to talk about in this video. It's a federal lawsuit against the prosecutors in this case. Atlanta County, Camden County, Sussex County, the Attorney General, and the Superintendent of State Police in New Jersey. It's by the Second Amendment Foundation, the Firearms Policy Coalition Incorporated, the Coalition of New Jersey Firearms Owners, and the Second Amendment, New Jersey Second Amendment Society. It was filed on December 22nd, the day that Governor Murphy signed the Concealed Carry Law, Bill 4769, into law. In my video, I talk about it, how I think that a lot of parts of this law that was, we just signed are going to be ruled unconstitutional. This concealed carry law has about 25 restricted places that you cannot carry a firearm in the state of New Jersey, with the exception of law enforcement and in some cases, retired law enforcement. They call it sensitive places. We all know it's another name for gun-free zones. So they're challenging, in this lawsuit, they're challenging four of the 25 enumerated places that the new law restricts gun carry. And in addition to those four places, they're challenging the vehicle restriction as well because under the new law that Governor Murphy just signed, you can't carry your handgun in your own personal vehicle, which is the most ridiculous thing to me. Why, why can't you? What's the reason behind that? From the copy of the complaint that I have, the publicly owned or leased library or museum, bar or restaurant where alcohol is served, and any other site or facility where alcohol is sold for consumption on the premises. Privately or publicly owned entertainment center. Private property, unless the owner has provided express consent or posted a sign, which is absurd to me as well. And I mentioned this before. So they're challenging these four places out of the 25 or so and the vehicle restriction. I think that it's going to open the door. I think the judge is going to look at these four places and say, this is my prediction, that that's unconstitutional. And hopefully she will look at the rest of the law and all the other things that, in my opinion, are unconstitutional as well. The restriction on where to carry, I, they just they just went way too far. Uh, remember, there's no historical precedence for restricting carrying a gun or a firearm in your vehicle. So again, I think what the court is going to look at is historical precedence on these 25 restrictions. Have they, you know, according to history and the U.S. Constitution and the U.S. Supreme Court, how have they ruled on in previous cases? And again, we mentioned this before, there are really only historically four places that states can, they don't have to, they can restrict gun carry. And that's the government buildings, including courthouses, polling places, legislative assemblies, and schools. And again, the schools had to do with historically, back to our founding, they had to do with the students, not the teachers teachers or adults. They had to really school. The school restriction was for the students. So some of these laws that the anti-gun politicians throughout the country have already tried this since the Bruin decision back in June of this year. California, New York, Oregon, I, they've all been struck down. And New Jersey, this is the next one. And the key point to this lawsuit, I believe, and I believe there are several that have been filed, is that the U.S. District Judge Renee Baum in New, for New Jersey, she's entered an order to show cause for the defendants, which is are the prosecutors that I mentioned earlier, Superintendent of State Police and the Attorney General. She has fast tracked it. They she wants a response, an expedited briefing to on setting up an injunction hearing. So the the timeline is so quick in this case. I'll put a link to the court listener website, which they have the case and they have the timeline. But basically, New Jersey has until December 30th to provide their side, their response or their reason why there shouldn't be an injunction to this law that was just passed or signed by Governor Murphy. So the, the plaintiffs have until January 3rd, of course, to submit replies and then the Zoom meeting by the judge is scheduled for January 5th. So I think it's good news for the responsible gun owners who want to exercise their Second Amendment right in New Jersey to carry 
carry a loaded firearm handgun to protect themselves and their family. I think it's it's a it's a good sign. I think there's going to be good news coming forward from this lawsuit. And I'm just going on the fact that it's being it seems to be fast tracked. And I think all these cases across the country, all these lawsuits are arising from these ridiculous laws being put out there by the anti-gun politicians. And again, I mentioned this in my other video, nothing in the new concealed carry law, of course, about pen increasing penalties for criminals who commit crimes with firearms. Only more restrictions for the responsible gun owners in New Jersey who want to exercise their Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms, to carry a loaded handgun to protect themselves and their families. I'm going to try to keep up to date with this and I'm going to try to put out videos as this stuff happens in a timely manner so everybody knows what's going on. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe.